The next of our awards tonight recognises the female-inspired TEAS organisation Excelling in Training and Apprenticeships and it's a category sponsored by PX Group. Let's watch the film introducing us to the shortlist. Hi, I'm Zoe Lewis. I'm Principal Chief Executive of Middlesbrough College and Northern Skills Group. We're a large further education college with a training arm, one of the largest apprenticeships training providers in the whole of the North East. And of course, we're now really pleased to have TTE as part of our group as well. We've been shortlisted for the Training and Apprenticeship Award and we're really pleased to be represented now in these awards and to be amongst them is just absolutely fantastic, we're thrilled to bits. The college has been around, well, with its legacy probably since close to the 1800s in various forms, so to be the first female principal of the college is a great honour and to be able to support other females coming through within the organisation and of course our trainees and across Tees Valley is just fantastic to be involved in, so really pleased to be able to play our part and be recognised for that in these awards. Hi, my name's Gemma Gouda. I'm the practice manager of Paul J. Watson Solicitor, a law firm in Middlesbrough which practices in family and children law and criminal defence. For a very small firm of 12 people, um, we have three male and nine female. Three people are doing apprenticeships, we've got two people doing legal training, and we've got people who have qualified in particular um, specialist qualifications. I think that we are very keen to make sure that everybody benefits from training and guidance because ultimately staff are more satisfied in their roles and clients get a better level of service. I think Sir Robin McAlpine have been shortlisted for the Training and Apprenticeship category because of the amount of work that we do, not only within Sir Robert McAlpine but also in the North East, helping the Ambassador Network. So training the next generation to come into the construction industry is extremely important so people can learn from other older and more experienced mentors and we can have a good sustainable sector going forward. There's many women in your industry? No. There isn't very many women in the construction industry, around about 1%, and Sir Robert McAlpine have actually started a recent podcast called Beyond 1% in order to try and encourage more women into the industry. PX Group are sponsors of this category. Please now welcome, by the power of Zoom, Katie Woods Ruddick to announce the name of the category winner. Hello Katie and hello to our three nervous finalists, representatives of the firm shortlisted for the Training and Apprenticeship Award. Gemma Gouda, co-owner of Father and Daughter Run, Paul J Watson, Solicitors, Paula McMahon of Sir Robert McAlpine and welcome back to Zoe Lewis, Principal and Chief Executive of Middlesbrough College. Katie, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about PX Group and why you wanted to support the region's businesswomen by sponsoring the Training and Apprenticeships category this evening? Yep. So eve evening all. Uh, so PX Group is based in Stockton, where it's got an energy trading and engineering business. But at the core of our business is the operation of complex processing assets, predominantly in the energy related sectors, from power stations in London, Yorkshire, Humberside, uh, to the natural gas processing sites on Teesside and Aberdeen, which between them process around 25% of the UK's gas on a daily basis. In addition to that, we operate a chemical park in Hull, similar to the one that we find on the Wilton site here on Teesside. And this is our third year of sponsoring these awards, which means we've been part of them since the beginning. As a business, we've got a long history of supporting apprentices, developing them and assisting them in their career journey. I myself started as an apprentice um, many years ago, and I know what you can achieve when you're surrounded by people who support, guide and mentor you, and are passionate about your growth and development. 
So being part of an event that showcases and highlights the fantastic achievements of the Tees Valley business women is just an absolute must for us as a business to be involved in. Our, our three organisations excel in this field, excel in, in training apprenticeships. And it's lovely to hear, Katie, that you were one of those yourself, which is fantastic. And what a company you're, you're now uh, representing. Um, the three, are, three organisations who are here excel in the field, not only being female inspired themselves, but also giving fantastic training and apprenticeship opportunities to females. So, without further ado, Katie, you've got your envelope there. Can you now reveal our training and apprenticeship winner? So the winner of the training and apprenticeship category is Sir Robert, Al Sir Robert McAlpine. I think we have to do a big clear. The only disappointment is we can't really do this live. Um, <laughs> congratulations, Sir Robert McAlpine. You're our Training and Apprenticeships Award winners. This beautiful trophy. Oh, I've got to lift it up again. This beautiful trophy wow. will still be in your hands. Um, oh, great. Paula, congratulations to everyone at Sir Robert McAlpine. You're representing the company this evening, but I'm sure this is a recognition for a lot of people. Just tell us a little about that. Yeah, I mean, Sir Robert McAlpine support lots of people uh, inside our own organisation and out. And I'm absolutely delighted that we've been recognised, especially since we were up against such strong competition. And it's great to see so many companies in the Tees Valley promoting apprenticeships and giving our young people um, a, a positive and good future. Thank you for that. And congratulations again to you, the Training and Apprenticeships winner, Sir Robert McAlpine, and also to the category finalists. I said earlier, and I meant it, all the finalists tonight are winners too. It's a very strong field. Zoe Lewis, representing Middlesbrough College, and Gemma Gouda, co-owner of Paul J. Watson Solicitor. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you to PX Group. Thank you, Katie, and have a great night.